Hey, what is up you guys, it's Dustin and I am back with another video. Now you guys know that James Charles just launched Painted yesterday and the reception to it has not been that good. It did end up selling out allegedly some colors, but that's the problem. I wanted to come on here and talk about what James Charles, in my opinion, has done and what this possibly could lead to. I also wanna speak about Patrick Starr and his shady ass way of promoting his products using Beyonce, just like James Charles. So if you guys are here for that, stay tuned to this video because I'm sure it's gonna get messy. Now I have to set the stage a little bit for you guys to understand what I'm about to talk about. You already know this, but I'm just gonna recap for the people that don't. Basically, now, if you guys remember a few years ago, when James Charles launched his palette with Morphe, there was a whole bunch of issues with people having their eyelids stained. You may even remember Cody Rance going on her rant and a lot of people gave her attention for it. The hives that I'm getting on my eyes are not from my makeup remover or base. I've used both of the products for years. Never had highs from them. I use them literally every day. I got a sister sleigh wherever I go. But James did not warn me about the staining. He didn't tell any of us. I watched all his promotions on the palette. He didn't say that it would look like I have goddamn eyeshadow on still after I tried to remove it. Like, look at me. He took pink eye to a whole new level. Because allegedly Cody, as well as many other people were having issues with this product that Morphe put out that James put his name on. They were having reactions and a lawsuit was filed, a class action lawsuit, alleging that there was things in this makeup that Morphe was putting out that should not be there. And it was specifically about red colorants. Now you must also remember too that Huda Beauty got sued for this because they launched this like palette that had all these different colorants in it that were not FDA approved and they hid the label under the pan so you literally could not see it. Well, when James Charles launched painted yesterday, of course, I went over to look at the ingredients list and lo and behold, you will never believe what I found. So of course I started messaging all the people that I know that are industry insiders that know how makeup works, they know how to run brands, they know how to formulate products. So I was asking everyone what they thought about this, if there was something wrong with the ingredients and guess what? Kevin James Bennett spoke out again and he made some very good points. So I wanted to read that for you guys and give you my reaction because this is a mess. So Kevin James Bennett tweeted out and said, I guess James Charles has a few million dollars laying around he doesn't need because the FDA cosmetics is not going to be happy that he's selling paints for the eye using pigments that are not approved for use around the eye. I predict some hefty fines in a class action lawsuit. Sounds eerily similar to what I was just telling you guys, right? So let's get into it. He attached a whole bunch of pictures here with explanations, so I'm gonna read those really quickly. It says, James Charles, are you fucking kidding me? And he posted a picture of the painted ingredients list and it says, Red Lake 28 CI or CL 45410, Red Lake 36 CL 12085. Now you're probably like, that's Greek, Dustin. I don't understand that unless you speak Greek. So we'll explain that in a minute. Now in the how to part of this, it says apply with a painted detail liner brush for a wing graphic liner or any art. Use a painted crease brush to cut the crease. Set the eyeshadow with increased pigmentation and wearability. Tap a small amount onto the lid and blend out for a smoky eye. Now, if you're following what I'm saying here, basically the ingredients that are in this are not FDA approved for eye use. Now, I know a lot of people's arguments against this are that people know this and they should be aware of it, but it cannot say that it's an eye safe product when the FDA is saying that it should not be applied to the eyes. I don't give a fuck what these makeup influencers are saying. I don't give a fuck if they tell you it's safe. It may be safe, but you are going to end up staining your eyes. And that is one of the big major reasons why the FDA says that these ingredients should not be included in products that are applied to the eye area. And James Charles is also telling people to put this product in their fucking waterline. In the waterline. Can you imagine getting this shit in your eyes? What it could do? Could it turn it red? Now, of course, Kevin James Bennett linked another piece of this article that says, drug and cosmetic use. None of these colors may be used in products that are for use in the area of the eyes unless otherwise indicated. Red 28 for drugs generally made cosmetics and red 36 drugs, ingested drugs and other mouthwashes identified taken continuously. So right here we have two colorants that are in this red face paint that James Charles curated and put out for people that is not technically eye safe. Do you 
get the problem here. Now there's a lot more to James Charles putting out this brand and these face paints that I'm gonna get into in another video that I'm working on because someone sent me the court documents of all the lawsuits that the lab that he's using has been in and some of it was for contamination. But I'm gonna save that one for another video because there's a lot of explanation that needs to be put behind that because it's a fucking lot. So you guys are gonna have to let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on that down below. I think that James Charles is actually going down a very slippery slope here. I don't know if he spoke to anyone, probably not, about all of this and what should it and should not be in his cosmetics. So whoever advised him of this, I feel like they were setting him up, but Devil's Advocate says that James Charles already knows this. He already knows this because of the palette that he put out that people had a severe fucking reaction to. So I don't understand how James Charles is getting on the internet telling people how to apply these products to their eyes when they're technically not eye safe. They are going to stain your lids. So you guys are going to have to let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. Now, there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about quickly about this whole James Charles painted launch. Now, James Charles did this PR post where he went around and gave all these different influencers, Tana, Jojo Siwa, and a few other people, his products. And yesterday he had this launch party, but you know what? You know who wasn't there? Manny. None of these people were posting that they were at James Charles's launch party. Manny even took off and went to Las Vegas, which in my opinion was actually very smart. I hope that Manny does not review Painted. If he reviews Painted, people are going to come for him because that, again, is going to be him co-signing all of the behavior that James Charles has had in the past. And Manny already has all this shit going on with Colleen where he and Laura posted this podcast and took it down because they look like fucking fools. Which leads me to what I want to say next. Now, James Charles had this launch party and he got really drunk. And last night he started posting to his Instagram and his TikTok when he got home and he made a comment that literally made me want to vomit. Okay, I'm drunk after the launch party. Wait, where are you going? Can you undo my corset, please? <laughs> sure, you walked away from me. No, you, you just walked out the door, what are you talking no, about? No, you walked away when I was standing over there. Oh my God, please take it off. <laughs> what noise did I just produce? Oh, I'm so drunk. Okay. All right, this bottom one's coming now. Okay. Let me take my shoes off. Oh, shit. Off. I need a lot more wiggle room than that. I paid good money for this ass. I need, hold on, hold there's on. a lot of volume back there. <laughs> okay. No, I, I need you more. Oh, okay. Got an ass like a buffalo. <laughs> What the fuck is that supposed to be? Where did these go? Do you want me to put them away? No, it's okay. All right. Okay, sure. If you can't get out of I got it, I got it. If you can't get out of that, you don't deserve to be in it. <laughs> <laughs> I literally this glam was so pretty. Mm -hmm. I need to shove a beer to talk up into my bussy. Good night. Good night. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure why he thinks that that's appropriate to share to his like teenagers that follow him, but this is just another situation in my opinion where James Charles is oversharing trying to be relatable when he's not. It just came out gross and it sounded nasty. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions on that down below. Now I wanna talk about Patrick Starr. Beyonce is wearing it until dawn. No way. Yeah, it was raining last night and her makeup artist said that um, he used it on her in the rain. Why was it? In her concert? Yeah. Out in the open? Yeah. Where was she? I don't know, but she... I... Oh, I'm just bummed. I'm so happy mm -hmm. for you. Mm -hmm. Now, I feel like I've been talking about Patrick a lot more than I have over the past several years. And most recently, he had some issues with his brand, and I think that he addressed it pretty well. The fact that he is still friends with James Charles, the fact that he basically co-signs everything that he does is kind of sick to me. Well, it seems like Patrick Starr has taken a page out of James's book. Because yesterday, he tweeted out and said, Queen Bee uses one size beauty on Till Dawn waterproof setting spray in the rain on her Renaissance tour. Now, here's the thing. Is Beyonce technically wearing this? Was this applied to her face? Was it on? Yes. But did Beyonce apply it? No. Did Beyonce know what was going on her face? Probably not. I find it so gross that James and Patrick and anybody else that's going to do this is going to use the name of Beyonce to sell their products because one, Beyonce probably doesn't even know what has been applied to her face. She's Beyonce. She does not have time for that shit. But two, for me, this is almost like they are using her for her clout and her fame and her success and her image as a model 
and not paying her for that. They're making a come up off of this using Beyonce's name, and I don't like that. Did Beyonce have it on? Yes. But did Beyonce apply that under her own volition? No. It's not like Beyonce went on Instagram and was like, hey guys, look, I applied Patrick Star's One Size Beauty Spray to my face. I love it so much, you should go out and buy it. That's not what's happening here. That is not at all what is happening here. James knows that, Patrick knows that. And I think it's great that Patrick is having so much success with his brand, but this to me is just very, very shady. This is just another way that he can promote his product and attach himself to Beyonce as well as his brand to make money, which is the point of a business, but do it correctly. What you should have said, Patrick, is Beyonce's makeup artist applied this to her and she has it on. It just comes across really disingenuous to me and I don't like that. To me, it, in my opinion at least, it's deceptive marketing. But you guys will have to let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on that down below. Please don't forget to leave me your thoughts and opinions about James as well with this whole launch and all these ingredients that are in it that really shouldn't be if they're gonna be applied to the eyes because because I truly feel like this is going to come back and bite James in his ass. But you guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below about Patrick. Let me know what you think about James Charles. And if you made it this far in this video, please leave me the palm tree emoji because I'm going to edit this video and I'm going to actually go get in the pool today. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.